Well, Bible Deep Dives. And do you know what it's about? The Chiro symbol. Do you know what is the Chiro symbol? It's this. Change of plan saying that it's splatter paint. How is it there's splatter paint over this, but no splatter paint over this one? Do you know why there's splatter paint? On this and not this one? Because this one has to do with cosmic and solar, like the sun, S-U-N. It's a symbol that they say it means Christ. But then there's the other deeper meaning into it that goes to, um, obviously, the Catholic, the Catholic, worshipper of the sun, S-U-N. It's a Catholic book. It's not the true word of God. And there, there is manipulation over the words even when they say new King James. So now there are uh, King James that are not King James. When, he's put, when there's the symbol over the, the Bible, Jesus works with no symbol at all. It's Catholic that working with symbols. Even the cross symbol. Every symbol are from the Catholic. The cross and the crucifixion is not a symbol. It's an action. When Jesus was crucified on the cross, it paid for sin. When they put a symbol, it means nothing. Every symbol. Why do you think the new King James has the symbol on it? And it's changing the words? All those symbols over those Bibles, it's because it's Catholic. So I searched about the P and X Chiro symbol and it's talking about solar and cosmic. And strangely enough, there's the splatter paint over the Bible that has to do with solar and cosmic. Remember when Jonathan Clegg said that we're all the stars? Can you say Church of Scientology? When they have their ceiling open with a glass window to see the, so the stars during the night time. Solar. And then there is the son of righteousness with, uh, coming with healing in his w wings. You see, Hirelin, this is what I mean by you taking scripture verses here and there, putting your shiny little spin on them to fit your story, and then moving on. You just kept going on about solar this and the sun that. Solar. But then you says, well, there's the sun of righteousness that will rise with healing in his wings. And I knew what you meant by that. But does the other people, because you're talking about Malachi 4 too. But unto you that fear my name shall the sun of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Look at that though. Sun. S-U-N. The same thing that you were talking about. I know it's supposed to be used as a metaphor, but do you? Do they? You just kind of like rambled through it. But let me show you what you would do. I'm going to show you exactly what you would do. If I can find it. Okay. Okay, right here. The son of righteousness is a biblical term that refers to the Messiah or the king of Israel or Judah. It is found in the book of Malachi where it's used as a metaphor for the coming of the Lord and the healing of his people. The son of righteousness is also a religious symbol in the ancient Middle East. Ooh, a symbol. 
often depicted with the wings and associated with royalty. Hmm. I do believe Nibiru is sometimes described as the sun with wings. But let's take a look at this symbology. Remember, Jesus doesn't need symbology, so why are we looking at this, hireling? Look at that. Is that the symbol of the sun, right? Okay. And maybe this is covert. Just like me sneaking in with that Catholic Scientology Bible. And it's talking about solar and cosmic. And strangely enough, there's the splatter paint over the Bible that has to do with solar and cosmic. See, this is exactly how you would do it. So why can't I? You're worshiping the sun just like everybody else. Look, everybody, look. Here's a symbol. Hireling worships the sun. Next. And what do we see here, Hireling? Is the sun of righteousness with healing in its wings? Is, is that Nibiru? Don't know. How come you don't take that avenue? You use that verse to state your opinion. What says wings up here? Uh-oh. Looks like you might be worshiping the sun. He's the sun of righteousness with healing in its wings, Planet X. What'd you say? It looks like just like what Jonathan Clegg had on there. You know, you and Jonathan Clegg do pretty much have a lot of stuff on at the same time. I notice your antics have been kind of similar as well. Let's see what this says. You use Malachi 2. Everything around Malachi 4.2 is about judgment. But you who fear my name, the son of righteousness, will rise with healing in its wings, and you will go forth and skip around like calves from the stall. Uh-oh, that's the NASB. That's the devil's Bible. One of them. But it says son, S-U-N. Planet X, or the Destroyer, or Nibiru, is known as the Winged Planet, or a second sun. The sun in the phrase, the Sun of Righteousness, can also refer to our own sun as it is affected by Planet X, because the effects of Planet X can cause huge coronal mass ejections, CMEs, that look like big wings coming off of the sun. Why is the Sun of Righteousness called healing? And then, scriptures speak of the wicked being tread down as ashes below the soles of the righteous feet right after. So why aren't you worshipping the Egyptian winged sun god there, hireling? If I'm supposed to be worshipping something just because you say so, I think you should have to worship something just because I say so. I proved it just as much as you proved it, winged sun. And do you want to see? I mean, look at all this. Look at everything that Hireling skips over when it comes to his uh, son with wings of righteousness. His description. It's spelt S-U-N. And look at all these Egyptian religions just that revolve around it. Why don't you cover this, Hireling? You're so quick to convict me over a symbol on a thrift store Bible cover that had paint on it. But you won't look at this. How much more hypocritical could you be, hireling? But that is a trait of a narcissist. And let's go to the main page where it pulls up that symbol. Look at all this, hireling. Look at everything you've missed. Everything that you should have went over. If you want all the truth to come out, that you're a sun worshiper, apparently. Sucks being accused of something you don't do, doesn't it, Hireling? Oh, but you showed your cover, Hireling. Yep, you showed who you really were. So, Direction of Eyes, it went a little bit quick, but you can rewind the video. I showed it to you. When she said, I have no reach, she was looking into left up. It was constricted. I have reach. It's evident. She said that she cannot get out of the, the maze of my mind. But she's saying, I have no reach. 
She, she said that she's not amazed, but she's in amaze. But then after that, 30 seconds later, she says that I never say, I never cease to amaze her. And then she's saying that it's all far fetched. But it's not far fetched. There is real effect. Robert Kelly sang with friends like Kelly who needs enemies. But look at the different approach. Humility. Wickedness. Humility over here. Wickedness and lying over there. Looking for the truth. Insincerity. Diligent search. But over here, it's wickedness. My cousin decided to go with the wickedness. Now we beseech you, Britain, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by your gathering together unto him, that he be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as the day of Christ is at hand. This is change of plan. When there was still gene revel, I had received a letter, and I believe it was a letter adds from us, but it was not. First, they attempted to do it by letters. Now, they're using the voice changer. I'm still not going for trusting it's the real same spirit. It says that he be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as the day of Christ is at hand. So Bible deep dives, chiro symbol. So there's the P and the X. The P and the X, very clearly from Change of Plan, is showing his Bible. It's our Catholic Bible. Catholic, Vatican, Bible made under the supervision of Vatican, is not reliable. He's challenging my King James Version only. Hello, Manuel Baptist Church. For the past few years, we have been going in and out of the Gospel of Mark. For the Chiro is one of the most ancient symbols for Christ in this video. Pastor Mike explained what it is and why it's important. The fish symbol also is Catholic. Do you know why it's there, the fish symbol? It's because it's not representing a fish. It's representing the eye of Lucifer. You know the symbol of the uh, all-seeing eye? That's what it represents really. It's not a fish. It's also showing the football. The football is for what? Uh, the thing about the womb. It's all symbol for satanic. It's not Christian. There's no symbol in Christianity. In true Christianity, there's no symbol and how it can really enrich our lives in Christ. So if you have, uh, if you've been uh, looking at all, you will see a symbol on the slides that look, that looks like this. You can see that there is what looks like a letter P uh, and the arm of that P is in the middle of uh, what looks like an X. And then on the sides, we have an A and we have a W. And so what you're looking at here is something called a chi row. In fact, I'm going to uh, minimize myself here so that you can get a better view of what this is. And this is an ancient symbol that... Uh, so it's not chi row, it's chi row. Chi row. Like Le Caire in Egypt, Cairo. Cairo is by far the largest city in Egypt. Cairo. Cairo. So, do you see how Harling took me as an individual into somebody who worships the Egyptian gods now? It's no longer the Norse wolf head bear wearing whatever those gods were. Now, because this Catholic symbol was on that on that Bible that I purchased from a thrift store, I now am into Scientology, and he's traced me back to the Egypt, the Egypt days, by using symbols.
just like I traced him back to the Egyptian sun wing god. He worships the sun. Does everybody know how Harling worships the sun? Check it out. It's the same thing you're doing to me, Harling. How do you like it? The, the chi rho there, and so then with that now you can see that the, uh, the chi is the x there, and you can see the rho being represented in what, what we look at as a, uh, as a p, but again, it's an r sound in Greek, I know it's confusing, but uh, it is the, uh, the letter rho, and so you can see how those two go together. And so then the next question is, what in the world is this, uh, this a and this w? Uh, well, it's not an A and it's not a W. What it actually is, is the A is the first letter in the Greek alphabet, which is the word alpha. And so we have uh, the, the alpha on the left. And so uh, if you know anything about the book of Revelation, you know where the next one is going. That is not a W in Greek. That is actually what is called an omega. Now let's compare with what we get to see over there. There's the P, there's the X, there's no DA nor DW, there's no Alpha nor Omega. And there's a bunch of platters paint. So you say we have the P and we have the X, but we don't have the Alpha or the Omega. All we have is a bunch of splattered paint that somebody put on there. It is the last letter in the Greek alphabet. And so we have the Alpha and the Omega, Jesus Christ, um, you know, the first and the last. Uh, we have the, the Rho and the, the, the Chi, the Chi Rho symbol of being the symbol for who Jesus is. And we have the letters to describe who he is. He's the first and the last. And uh, as we uh, look at this last slide here, we can see that there is a circle there. That cir circle is just for fun. Circle is just for fun. Uh, there's nothing special to it. But uh, hopefully that clears up any confusion, any questions that you might have. Well, if it's just for fun, how is it that the sun is in the shape of a circle? And when I look for this exact same symbol, they say it's for cosmic and solar. And how is it that Jonathan Tluck, he had put in his recent video the same thing? The trip was a message. We all come full circle. Now, the guy here is saying it's just for fun. Even though this symbol is relating to solar, I'm going to show you uh, right after. He's looking at the, the circle. Okay, you say you're gonna show everybody what that symbol is for, and that is for solar. But then you tell us that Jonathan is looking at the solar thing. Not, but see what happens whenever I lay this symbol over top of that mirror? You know, the symbol of where it's you worshiping the sun, the sun of righteousness, wings. Yeah, it's Nibiru. And fits right over that mirror pretty good, doesn't it? Your sun worship symbol. But then look what happens whenever you put uh, actual the biru with wings beside it in the mirror. Look at the two doors in the mirror. Look how they become the wings. How do you know that's not what he's looking at, Hireling? Is it just what you see? Is that what Jesus is telling you he's looking at? Just so that you can prove that I'm some type of Scientologist. Boy, you're reaching more far-fetchedisms from hireling.